sculptors. I just wanted to take a moment and share the exciting news with you. We have some winners selected for our mermaid contest. Thanks so much for your patience with me and I just thought we'd go through quickly the ones that we have and refresh your memories with what we've got here. Here's one that we have from Tara B. I'm not sure what your last name is Tara but thanks so much for participating. This doll is just gorgeous. Look how cute she is. Uh, and I'm particularly amazed at this area of the anatomy. She just looks amazing. She did a great job. Next we have Susan Head. And this had such a cute setting. This tail is just breathtaking. I'll have to show you some more pictures of it. And just great anatomy going on here. Susan, good job. Next we have Ellie Doster. This one I saw was so adorable. This face looks so much like Daryl Hannah. She just really nailed it. She said this one was inspired by Splash. But that was so cute. All right, and then we have this one by Darlene, and this is just so cute. This one, especially with all the overall sculpting skill, um, is really apparent in this in particular. And that just reminded me, I want to talk for a minute about what we judge these dolls on, the submissions that come in. Um, because we have these contests to also help you be able to sculpt better. And so while we've got this one here, I'm going to just talk to you about a few of the different things. One of the things is just overall sculpting skill, like I said here, where just, you know, the tail looks great, the arms look great, the anatomy is really good, beautiful face, just really nice finished look to everything too. Um, faces are a really big deal. Faces just have the ability to just draw in an audience and it makes you turn and look again. So those are always very important. So is anatomy. So we look at the anatomy itself and how accurate it is to real anatomy. And the hands in particular we look at because uh, they're tricky to do. So if you've mastered hands, you've definitely put in quite a bit of time. Um, let's see, this one is also by Okami Wolf. But this one is just adorable as well. And here we've got some really great anatomy too that really just follows how things look anatomically and and also just the way um, she looks graceful she looks comfortable in her pose and setting so that brings us to the next thing setting even how your pictures are um, like this is a great area to have her pictures taken here and even how the pictures are this is a perfect perfect for this mermaid And then here's another example of just a really cute setting and an emotional response when you just look at the piece. This is by Tom Gibson. He's been doing such great work sculpting. He did, I think, our only merman enter. We had a few people get the, the kits, but only one came through in the actual entries. So you did a great job there. Let's see. So emotional response would be the thing I wanted to talk about here. And then this one by Brenda Stormer. So cute. So setting was really sweet with this. So she found a good piece that she um, probably is from an aquarium or some type of thing like that. And then incorporated her piece into it like we did on my videos. I used the coral to do that. And so it just really starts to tell a bit of a story with it too. And so that's really fun with your piece to have it be a little bit more going on. And let's see then this last one. This one is by Jesse Strickland, who's learning to sculpt and she's doing such a great job. I thought this was such a cute little piece with a little dolphin where this, again, the setting just kind of says a lot with it. And we've got some interaction going on with her holding the shells and um, kind of waving as well or looking out to the ocean. Kind of starts to, sell, to tell a story too. I also wanted to let all of you contestants who sent in an entry know that, especially because this took so long for me to get put together and um, while I was recovering, that I want each of you to be able to choose any online e-course of your choice, just whichever one you'd want. Any of the new ones are just fine too. So just let us all know, let me or Iris know what you'd like and we'll get that sent out to you as well. So, um, so everyone who join the contest gets one of those who sent in an entry and then now to get down to the winners what we've got here 
And what we're doing now is mostly dividing the advanced and beginner categories according to your skill level rather than time period sculpting because it's getting kind of gray and hard to tell, you know, when in a year how many times you're actually sculpting a doll versus not. It, it just can be confusing. So we're just going to go by sculpting skill. So if you end up being pushed up into the advanced category, please understand that's a compliment. <laughs> that means that you're doing so well that that's the, the skill level that you need to be judged in. So anyway, um, on with the winners. In the beginner category, in third place, our third place winner, we've got Tom Gibson with his awesome merman. I just love this tale and how it turned out with all this cane work that he did is so cute. So congratulations, Tom. For second place in the beginner category, we've got Susan Head with this beautiful mermaid um, and this pretty, pretty aqua color on the, the coral. Great job, Susan. And then our winner in the beginner's category is Tara. Tara, you've done such a great job with your anatomy here and this face is just beautiful. She's coming along so well. Congratulations, Tara. You're a beginning winner. And then in the advanced categories, our third place is Okami Wolf with this beautiful doll. I just love this tail and the whole arrangement is just adorable. Congratulations, Okami. And second place, we've got Darlene Man with this beautiful, beautifully sculpted piece. I love this orange tail. It's so pretty. Congratulations, Dar Darlene. You're a second place winner. And then first place in the advanced category, we've got Ellie Doster with this just beautiful rendition from Splash with the whole Daryl Hannah kind of look to her. I thought she was so cute. This face is just adorable. Let's show you a few more of her pictures. There's a good shot of that face right there. There we go, and the eyelashes and the lips just turned out really, really sweet. Great work, everyone. I like that hook on there too. All right. Anyway, congratulations to everybody here. Um, I'll have a gallery put out for each of these, everyone who entered on the Making Fairies site or on Art Dolls as well. So you can stop by and I'll have it listed in the newsletters once it's ready. That'll be in the next day or two. And you can come take a peek at all the pictures that were turned in. Thank you so much for participating and hopefully you'll be able to join us on the next contest. Right now we've got the Witch Contest going on. And after the witch contest, I believe we're going to be doing Santa. So get sculpting. I hope that you've enjoyed finding out the winners for the mermaid contest. It's so fun to do these contests and see the great dolls that our artists create. So I look forward to seeing what else you are creating for us in the next one. I wanted to let you know about this particular doll head that I've been working on. I have made videos of it and I'm going to have them for sale on makingfairies.com in the online section at least at first and then get it made into a DVD as soon as I'm ready. I would like to make this into a whole, um, like a doll with hands and shoes and stuff too, but I think what I will do is just start it as the head course, but I'll make a special for anybody who gets it this week. If you go ahead and buy the head course um, this week, I'll go ahead and add in the feet and the hands videos just in time as they come. I'm just gonna say though, it'll probably take me at least a month or two to get, to get them all completed. Maybe not, I'm hoping I can keep the momentum going and keep working on this doll. I just got a, a lot of projects and a lot of catching up to do that I'm trying to balance everything. But anyway, that's what the deal's gonna be is that I want to offer that to you. You can get this, um, you can just even make a bust out of her like this, but then this course will also eventually turn into a full doll course as well as the videos are added later in time. So it's a great deal for you. Anyway, let's see. Um, also, anyone who wants to be part of the witch contest, I'm going to include the free Maleficent videos for anyone who buys one of the witch kits, either the, the witch bust kit or the regular witch kit and joins our contest. I just wanna uh, invite more people to do this because it's just so, so fun when you see these dolls all together and, and get to share the pictures with each other. 
So that's another special deal to you. If you've already bought the contest, just get in touch with Iris or I and we'll make sure that we get the, the links to you so you also get your free Maleficent videos with your witch kit purchase. So anyway, thanks so much for, for joining me and for watching these videos. I, I'm excited to share a lot of things with you in the future. I'm finally at the point where I'm feeling well enough that sculpting is becoming a joy again and, and a relaxation where for a while there it was my favorite thing to do, but I just was so stressed. It, it wasn't, wasn't like that for me for a while, but it's finally coming back and it's starting to show. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really thrilled with that too. Thank you so much for your support and for being with me through the years and for all the ups and downs. Take care. Thank you.